What's up gamers? GamerDot here. This is a guide to help you complete all of the week four weekly quests. So first up, knock down timber pines with a ripsaw launcher. So you're going to head over to the chop shop as that's where you'll find the most ripsaw launchers. There's two areas within here at least that you will find them. There's one area in an office room uh, where there's four of them on the wall. And there's also the spot that I'm going to show you right here. Unfortunately, you may have to deal with some opponents while you're in here. But there you go. There's two on the wall here. So pick up one, go outside, and now you have to destroy five timber pines. So you'll know the timber pines because they have the much thicker um, trunks, and they, they go really high up. If you don't do it right away, you may find that other people have taken out some of them. Note, you can aim this thing from pretty far away and shoot those rip saws out, so it's nice and easy. Just get five of them, and you'll have this first challenge complete. There we go. All five knocked down. Next up, mantle onto a ledge within three seconds of sliding. So you can do this. This is just down from where the um, chop shop was. Head over to this seven outpost here. I like it because, I mean, you can really do this anywhere, but really the gist of it is slide, jump, and mantle. Pretty easy. There's actually, this area is really good to do these quests though because there's lots of stuff here. There's also a Star Wars. Um, you can also get the E11 blaster rifle in this area as well for your next challenge. So there's two challenges done. Now we're going to destroy structures with an E11 blaster rifle. So again, this location right here is just south of the 7 outpost where you would have just done your mantling and sliding. So you could have you could have just run down. I recorded this separately, but you could just run down here. Within each of these structures, you will have this one of these chests here. Open it up, you'll get an E11 blaster rifle, and then you can actually just proceed to blast out the structures right here. The gun will kind of run out of energy or steam, and it'll have to give it a couple seconds in between constant firings there for it to cool down. But regardless, you can easily do this without even leaving this area. You just have to knock down 15 different structures. Now that you've completed three quests of your weekly quest, you'll actually get a new snap style. And that new snap style can be seen here. This is the baddest bone arm. So that's pretty cool. Next, search chests or ammo boxes that crashed IO airships. Now, this map is only showing three of them. I know there are more. I like this area down here, though. It's on the edge of the map. And that means less people are going to go here. So as you get here, look around as you're flying in and look for anything. So I clearly saw this chest here. There's often also a chest way up on the very top there. There wasn't this time. And then if you've only if you don't see any others, just kind of briefly walk around and scan around the ship. So here's an ammo box that I ended up finding. So nice and easy. Challenge complete, landing at one of them. Up next, damage opponents while in a vehicle. So I like coming to Condo Canyon here because I know there's lots of vehicles and at the beginning of a match there's quite a few people that land here. So obviously, objective one, get yourself a car. Two, drive around and find people. Now this can be very finicky because sometimes you might got l get lucky. You'll find somebody to take down who has lots of health. But in this case, I was getting totally unlucky. I must have taken out four or five people. And I mean, I'm barely at 120 damage. So sadly, they were already damaged up quite a bit. But regardless, you're just going to get in different vehicles. Also, you're probably going to run out of gas if you have to do too much running around. So for me, I had to get into it two to three different cars. It was quite annoying. But eventually, you know, simple challenge and eventually you get it. I must have ended up killing six or seven opponents just to get this challenge done. It should have been easier. There we go, finally, challenge complete, on to the next one. So this one is travel 500 meters in the slipstream around Rave Cave, the absolute easiest challenge of the week. You'll see there, there's a blue bar that kind of goes around, and I'm sure you've seen the slipstream before, but it goes all the way around the Rave Cave. 
Come here off of the battle bus if drop if you can, because then you can literally just glide into it. And then literally just stay within the stream and go around and around and around. And eventually you'll hit 500 meters. Super easy challenge. Now at this point, if you've done the same quest that I've recommended, you'll also get another snap style for completing more of the weekly quests. And that is the Katsu Head. Next up, plant a reality seed at Sunflower Saplings or Fungi Farm. So for this, if you don't know where there's a, um, a reality seed pod, you can come to Reality Falls here and get this one at the base of the reality tree. And then I recommend getting on an animal or grabbing yourself a car and then heading over to the location that you'll see on the map here in just one second. Where is it? So here we go. This location right here, southwest of Greasy Grove. You can head over here. And then just look for an area where it goes blue like this while you're holding the reality seed and bam, plant that baby. All done. That's all of my weekly challenges complete. They were pretty easy this week. And as well, once you have every single one completed, you also do get an additional snap style here and it's a torso. So you get the reject torso. Hope the guide's helpful. Please drop a like, please leave a comment. And most importantly, please subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate the support. Until the next video, GamerDad out.